Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word for November 22nd. It's the 34th Sunday of Ordinary Time and it's our last Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's stand up and sing our opening song. I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be a sheep. I pray the Lord my soul will keep. I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be a sheep I pray the Lord my soul to keep I just want to be a sheep I don't want to be a hypocrite Don't want to be a hypocrite They're not hip to it Don't want to be a hypocrite I just want to be a sheep I just want to be a sheep I pray the Lord my soul to keep I just wanna be a sheep ba, 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 ba. I wanna be a sheep I really wanna be I really wanna be a sheep Lord I just wanna be a sheep Wanna be your sheep I wanna be I really really wanna be I just wanna be a sheep Wanna wanna be a wanna 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 be your sheep ba, 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 ba. Don't wanna be a Pharisee. Don't wanna be a Pharisee. They're not fair, you see. Don't wanna be a Pharisee. I just wanna be a sheep. I just wanna be a sheep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep. I don't wanna be a Sadducee. Don't wanna be a Sadducee. Cause they're so sad, you see I don't wanna be a sad, you see I just wanna be a sheep ba, 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep ba, 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep I just wanna be a sheep ba, 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 ba. I just wanna be a child of God I just wanna be a child of God Walking the same path he tried I just wanna be a child of God I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I really wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this: I, the Lord God will look for my people and take care of them myself. As a shepherd looks for sheep that have wandered away, I will search for my scattered people. I will rescue them from all the places where they went on that dark and gloomy day. My people will be like sheep grazing and resting in good pastures and on Israel's mountains. I, the Lord all-powerful, will lead them there and watch over them. I will look for the lost sheep and bring back the ones that have wandered off. If any are hurt, I will bandage their wounds. If any are weak, I will help them. I will take good care of my people. The word of the Lord. And now we all say, thanks be to God.
my shepherd. I lack nothing. He takes me to lush pastures. He leads me to refreshing water. He restores my strength. He leads me down the right paths for the sake of his reputation. Even when I must walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff reassure me. You prepare a feast before me in plain sight of my enemies. You refresh my head with oil. My cup is completely full. Surely your goodness and faithfulness will pursue me all my days, and I will live in the Lord's house for the rest of my life. The Lord is my shepherd. reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised to life, and he makes us certain that others will also be raised to life. Just as we will die because of Adam, we will be raised to life because of Christ. Adam brought death to all of us, and Christ will bring life to all of us. But we must each wait our turn. Christ was the first to be raised to life, and his people will be raised to life when he returns. Then, after Christ has destroyed all powers and forces, the end will come. The Word of the Lord. And now we all say, Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. And we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory with all of his angels, he will sit on his royal throne. The people of all nations will be brought before him, and he will separate them as shepherds separate their sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, My father has blessed you. Come and receive the kingdom that was prepared for you before the world was created. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. And when I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me, and when I was naked, you gave me clothes to wear. When I was sick, you took care of me, and when I was in jail, you visited me. Then the one who pleased the Lord will ask, When did we give you something to eat or drink? When did we welcome you as a stranger or give you clothes to wear or visit you while you were sick or in jail? The king will answer, 
Whenever you did it for any of my people, no matter how unimportant they seemed, you did that for me. Then the king will say to those on his left, Get away from me. You are under God's curse. Go into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry, but you did not give me anything to eat. And I was thirsty, but you did not give me anything to drink. I was a stranger, but you did not welcome me in. And I was naked, but you did not give me any clothes to wear. I was sick and in jail, but you did not take care of me. Then the people will ask, Lord, when did we fail to help you when you were hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick in jail? The king will say to them, whenever you fail to help any of my people, no matter how unimportant they seemed, you fail to do it to me. Then Jesus said, those people will be punished forever but the ones who please God will have eternal life. The gospel of the Lord. And now we all say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today for our children's liturgy of the word. In today's Bible story, Jesus says, Whenever you did it for any of my people, you did it for me. You know, today would be a really good day to do something special for one of Jesus' people. And who do you think Jesus' people are? Well, they're everybody. And especially in this time that we're in, that we might not be able to see our special people, our grandmas and our grandpas, aunts and uncles and cousins. We might not even see our close friends or neighbors. Or I know that some of you are especially missing your teachers. Today, sit down and write someone a letter. It might just seem like a small thing to do, But for one of God's people to receive a special letter from you is going to make them very, very happy. And do you know who else it's going to make happy today? That's right. It's going to make Jesus happy today. Because remember what he said? When you did it for one of my people, you did it for me. And that is the good news for today. Now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, his son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, grant that we live a good life with you. Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone in need. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. It's at this time of the Mass that we bring our gifts to the altar. Since we can't celebrate the Eucharist together, we celebrate an act of spiritual communion. As we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
our time together has ended. So go forth and announce the gospel. This light of mine.